Guess what? It's Hello. time for Pets on Set. We've been doing it all week long with our friends Hello. from the Hawaiian Humane Society. That's right. Uh, now, this cat right here that I'm petting is Adonis. He's a one-year-old domestic short-haired <laughs> cat oh. who loves sitting in laps and being around people and oh. loves the scratches right there. Look at his face. He also knows how to sit on command and give a high five. He <laughs> came in as a stray from Kaneohe. And this is Sabrina here. She's a domestic short-haired cat. She's about eight months old. She's very cuddly and very affectionate. And if you look at her paws, check this out. She's got little, little white gloves on her little, paws. Little puss in boots there. Yeah, and she came as a stray from the North Shore. Ah, indoor cat tips. Although many cats enjoy being outside where they can hunt, prey, and explore, it's a myth that going outside is a requirement for feline happiness. Oh, and playing regularly with a cat satisfies their stalking instincts, keeps them stimulated, and provides exercise so they can stay healthy and happy. And here are some more tips for safety, confining your cats. To start young, kittens who are kept indoor usually show no desire of venturing outside when they grow up. And uh, let her hang out, install a window perch or an indoor kitty condo that allows them to <laughs> climb. Or build an outside catio, a screened porch <laughs> for cats that can either be as simple as an enclosure from a wood frame to large structures that attach to your house or apartment wow. patio. Wow. Condos and catios, these are pretty uh, pampered very, cats here. Very, very fancy stuff there. Also, here's something a little wild. You can take your cat for a walk. You can actually train your cat to walk on a leash with a harness if you live in a neighborhood with no loose dogs. Very cool. And an indoor cat is a safe cat. But remember, even indoor cats should be outfitted with a collar, visible identification, be microchipped to ensure a safe return home if they do, like just then get away. And if you dare bring your cat, but definitely bring your dog, don't forget the 20th Annual Hawaiian Humane Society Pet Walk is October 3rd at Magic Island. It's mostly for the dogs, but you know, there's all kinds of animals there, yeah, like better, rabbits and lizards. Better be a mellow cat, because yeah. there's a lot of dogs there. But we've seen, yeah, that's right, rabbits and all kinds of mm -hmm. different things there. So, of course, if you want to find out how to sign up or donate, go to KITV.com. And oh, just look at these kitties. Uh, can we get an update? How did how did all the animals we do so far this week? Anybody get adopted yet? Uh, Sammy. Sammy, who we had on uh, oh, earlier this week. Yes. Sammy was the beagle, yeah. so definitely interested in him. But uh, you know, there's some other animals at the Humane Society that have been there for several yeah. months, and they really need your help. So go down there to check them out. Oh, he's purring. You hear them? Oh yeah, he's purring. Oh, that means he's very relaxed. Yeah, he matches with you, Dan. I oh. think he needs a home. Yeah, it will be great with my two dogs. <laughs> All right. Uh, of course, did we mention already that the Humane Society opens up at 11 a.m. That's right. Today. Coming up next, a race in England with a backward twist.